Okay, so welcome back to this new video. Um, I'm hearing very often from people who are using Framework 7 that they are overwhelmed by the number of templates that exist. So I thought it would be a good idea to give you an overview uh, which templates ex exist and which one, which one can be recommended and which not. So yeah, that's what I basically did. You can find this list on my blog, so you just go to uh, www.timo-ans.net and you can find my website here and what you do is on the left side there's a new link which is called framework 7 template list so you just click this one and here's the list so it's this is, this is a full table of all the templates that I know of um, keep in mind that this is probably not fully comprehensive so there might be some other templates that I'm not aware of so if you know of any other templates uh, let me know uh, but yeah, this list, uh, let me just increase this a little bit. So this list, um, let me let me walk you through it a little bit, okay? So you, so I can explain a little bit from for each template. So the first one, this here, the official basic examples template. This is just um, a collection of starter templates for various use cases. So you can see one here, um, which is called single view application. So this is based on all just one view, um, which doesn't mean you don't have pages. And um, of course you can use pages, but it's all just one view. Um, and similar to this template, there are many others. Uh, this one, for example, is using the tab bar. And yeah, just, you know, just scroll through it and then check out what's, what you like and what not. Um, now this uh, list of templates, there are mostly um, official templates from the Framework 7 team. Uh, and they're all based on DOM 7 and jQuery or jQuery. You can basically choose which one you want to use. Um, and yeah, so this is, this is a very easy uh, way to start a new Framework 7 app uh, if you want to use DOM 7 or jQuery. Uh, if you want to dive into more advanced stuff, like for example React, um, there is something called, <coughs> sorry, from 7 React, here. You go to from 7io slash React, and you will find the React plugin for from 7 which you can use. Um, this template has been created by someone called Ben Compton. He's a part of the Framework 7 community. And he basically basically provides two templates for uh, starting a new project. Uh, the first one is called the official uh, Framework 7 React template. And there's a second one which is entirely static. Now what static means is that this one here entirely uses only HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So there's nothing else involved. Um, if you want a m little more advanced version, you can use the uh, stunned version, which uh, includes Webpack and Bubble. All right. So these are the, 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 the two official uh, versions of the uh, React templates. I'm not aware of any other uh, templates for Framework 7 React. So if you know any other, just let me know. Um, but these two, they work quite well. All right, so stepping over from React to Vue.js, there are quite a lot of Vue.js templates and I'm, I can totally understand if this might be a little confusing for you. So let's have a look at this. So the first one here, uh, it includes Framework 7, Vue.js, Cordova and Webpack. Um, it's a template provided by August Ötchan and it's a little more complicated, so let's look into this. It's a little more complicated and advanced. So if you if you don't have uh, any experience with uh, Webpack and such, this might be a little bit difficult for you, but for all the pro users out there who, um, who want this kind of stuff, this is a very good template to start. There's a second template for PhoneGap slash Cordova users provided by Holly Shinsky from, uh, from the Adobe PhoneGap team. 
And this one also comes with Vue.js um, integration. And this is this is a very simple template. Okay, so there's no Webpack or um, or Bubble or anything involved. This is just plain HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, and everything is thrown into a PhoneGet template um, container. And all you have to do is to um, to use the PhoneGap CLI, so install uh, PhoneGap, and then you can use the create command, and you pass in the name of your application, um, and then you uh, define which template you would like to use. So in this case, we're using the um, uh, PhoneGap template from 7 view <laughs> template, which is a little bit uh, annoying name, but still. <laughs> Um, yeah, just copy and paste this here and you'll be fine. Yeah, and then you will be able to use this um, this template as a boilerplate for your application. Okay, so let's close this stuff here. Um, well, there's another um, template which is pretty much the same as, as this one from Holly. Um, but this is a template that I created quite a long while ago as... Um, and as part of one of my video tutorials, which is, um, and this one's also based on Framework 7, Vue.js, and PhoneGap. Now, I have to admit that I'm not currently maintaining this. Um, I think it should still work, but I do not recommend to use it anymore. So my recommendation is to use either Holly's template or this one from All Goods. Okay, um, looking into more Vue.js stuff. Now, there are basically, I think, yeah, four more templates which involve Vue.js. Now, these you have to keep in mind, they are not related to PhoneGap or Cordova. So these are meant to use only on the web. Uh, there are quite a lot of uh, official templates from the Framework 7 team. The Framework 7 team is also called Agent Dangerous. That's actually the name of the company. So, um, yeah, let's have a look into this. So this is a little more simpler version of uh, the Framework 7 view templates. Um, and similar to the React version, uh, it's, it's basically only consisting of uh, HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. So if you want a more advanced version, like with Webpack support, they have also you covered as well. So this is the one that you would like to use. See, it, this one also comes with Webpack. And for the old school people, um, <laughs> under you. Uh, there's also a version which uses Browserify. Now, keep in mind that Browserify is it's pretty old school and it has mostly been um, been replaced by Webpack. So, if you really, really want to use the Browserify version, then yeah, go for it. But for a new project, I would definitely recommend to use web a Webpack version. And speaking of Webpack, there's a second Webpack template um, which I created also quite a long time ago. And I'm also not maintaining this anymore since there's an official version from iDangerous. So uh, I'm just keeping this for you know historical reasons, but I'm not um, I'm not maintaining this anymore. Although it should still be working. This one's based on the um, on the pretty popular create react app template um, so yeah it, it should work but you know if there's an official version just use it and this one um, yeah I, I don't recommend to use this one okay looking into angular stuff now if you want to use angular with, with framework 7 you have to be really really careful and I usually do not recommend it because framework 7 has never been designed to use um, to be used with Angular 1 and 2. Um, now having a look at this first template, now this template is still very popular. 
Um, I don't know why, but I'm still getting a lot of questions and, and comments and posts on my on my YouTube channel about this. Really, now keep in mind this, that this template is based for Angular 1. Um, so since most people do not use Angular 1 anymore, especially if you want to create a new project, I really do not recommend to use it anymore. I mean, it still works. So um, if you really want to use Angular 1, go ahead. It should be no problem. But I wouldn't recommend it. Now, having a look at Angular 2, the only template that I'm aware of is this one from a, a guy with username Ashvin777. Um, and he started this template, uh, like I think a year ago or so. Uh, I don't know what the current status of this. Uh, as you can see, the last commit is like nine months ago. Um, and, I'm don't know, and I don't know if this is finished or not. Actually, it's, it says it's under development. So yeah, if you want to try, try it out, go ahead. But um, I'm not very sure if this is ready for production or not. And yeah. The biggest problem with Angular 2 templates is that, see, Angular 2 is, is based on components, right? Um, you would basically have to port all the Firmware 7 components into Angular 2 components, which is just a lot of lot of work. Um, basically, the same thing that iDangerous and Ben Compton have been doing for Vue.js and React. You would have to do the same thing for Angular 2. So yeah. Uh, Really, to, to, to be honest, if you want to use Angular, just, just use Ionic. Because Ionic is a perfect fit for Angular, as it has been designed from the ground up to be used with Angular. And Framework 7 is not. Framework 7 is, it works very well for, with Vue.js and React, but for Angular, I, think, I don't think it's a very good fit. And let's have a look at this last part here. Um, this, is, this was just an experiment. Um, it's called Typebox 7 and it's based on on a mix between uh, these technologies which are uh, Firework 7 of course, uh, TypeScript, Angular 1.x, Zas and Grunt. Now this is also pretty old um, but I'm also getting quite some questions about this. Just just keep in mind that this template is, is it was just an experiment, you know, to to play around with, with Angular One and TypeScript, and and nothing more. So I I don't think that this is something that you should use in a, in a production environment. Okay, so I hope you liked this video and it was helpful for you. If yes, please like it and um, drop a comment below if you have any more other uh, templates that you would like to recommend, or if I did any mistakes here. And yes, you can subscribe to my video channel here if you want more, um, if you want to see more videos about these kind of topics in the future. And yeah, that's it. Have a nice day. See ya.